hands. Yes. In my hands. Yes. I do not think so. What? What's wrong? What are you, mate? Thank you. No. Mum. No. Hey, hey, hey. no, please. My mum's not my mum. No. Please stop it, my lady. How do you feel with law enforcement going forward in this country? Do you trust them? No, I definitely can't trust anyone in the law enforcement anymore. Not that I really could before anyway. I mean, if it wasn't for us getting help from, you know, people online today, then we wouldn't have been, we'd no idea what would have happened today. You know, if we didn't have this fun page and everything, we've no idea how this could have came out. This is Cal Smiles for Rebel News outside of Aberdeen District Court where shortly the court case of Gabby Burnett is set to begin. Gabby has been accused of assaulting a police officer after they forced their way into their home back in January 2021. Through crowdfunding at standwithgabby.co.uk, we've arranged a top lawyer to get this ridiculous case thrown out of court. And we can't do it without your help. Because this case is so important because it could happen to any one of us. So please, head over to standwithgabby.co.uk to help fund the good fight. So I'm here with Julie and Gabby Burnett just outside of Aberdeen District Court as legal proceedings are about to begin after they are being accused of assaulting a police officer after they forced their way into their home back in January 2021. We've set up a crowdfunder at standwithgabby.co.uk to help fund a top lawyer to get this ridiculous case thrown out of court. But Julie, now that the day has now come, how do you feel? I feel that it's been put off so long because I think they're trying to make it disappear. I think they want it to go away. And are you confident? Not at all. I don't think it's going to go in our favour at all. I think they're just trying to paint us as the bad ones because they've messed up so badly that they have to try and make us look like we've actually done something when we haven't. And Gabby, regardless of the outcome today, how do you feel with law enforcement going forward in this country? Do you trust them? No, I definitely can't trust anyone in the law enforcement anymore. Not that I really could before anyway. I mean, if it wasn't for us getting help from you know, people online today, then we wouldn't have been, we would no idea what would have happened today, you know, if we didn't have this fun page and everything, we've no idea how this could have came out. And what sort of effect has the past two years had on your family? Because it's been, it's been a long time and it's now finally coming to pass today, but how have you all coped? It's just been, it's really stressful having, having it hanging over our heads all this time. Especially when we get a new job and everything like that. It's not the sort of thing, you know, it's hard to, if someone wasn't aware of the story, it's hard for me to try and explain my side without looking by, you know, because people will tend, to, if, if they don't know, they would try, tend to go with the, the officials. So it's hard trying to defend myself, even in situations like that, like getting employment and things like that. So it's, it's been a big stress. So that's Julie and Gabby Burnett just before their day in court. If you want to help fund the good fight, head over to standwithgabby.co.uk. After a quick in and out, how do you think it went today? Um, not too great. I'd rather have just got it over and done with. The fact that it's going to be hanging over our heads into another year is really quite stressful. Having had this adjourned, dragging this into a second year, do you feel more or less confident about next time you're in court? Uh, less confident, definitely, by what's just happened there, which was not much at all. I think we're in there for about three minutes. I don't feel like anything's on our side right now, especially with the law. <laughs> yeah. So you've heard from Gabby and Julie Burnett there. They're not too confident, but with your support at Stand With Gabby, we can get one of Scotland's top law firms to hopefully get this ridiculous case thrown out of court. So please, head over to standwithgabby.co.uk and help fund the good fight. Thank you. Just stop it, man. In my hands, yes. in my hands yes. I do not think so. What's wrong? What's wrong?
phone you me. Hey, no, no. Mum, hey, hey, no, please, my mum, no, no, please stop it, my lady. Please, 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 And we were in Aberdeen District Court this morning, but the case was quickly adjourned and the can of overzealous policing was kicked down the road until January next year. Now, Rebel have to be here because the mainstream media are not. This overzealous policing should be a mainstream media story because this is an example of the Coronavirus Act being abused and it could be abused again. Through your crowdfunding at standwithgabby.co.uk, We've managed to get cheap flights, rented a car, and affordable accommodation, but most importantly, we've hired one of the top law firms in Scotland. A law firm that usually represents the likes of celebrities and politicians, but today is standing with the common man. But we can't do it without you. Your support is so, so important. So please, head over to standwithgabby.co.uk because you never know, one day, we could be in your hometown reporting on your story of overzealous policing. Thank you.